Welcome friends, it's Gisa from Butterfly Garden. My magic door is open. Do you have any idea who might come to visit today? I'll give you a hint. And I see some light behind the curtain. Come out, come out, whoever you are. Hello, Mr. Firefly, and how are you? Very good. Well, I have a story that has to do with a firefly today, and it's called Good Night, Firefly, written by Gabriel Alborozo. Nina was scared of the dark, so it was good she had a nightlight, which made things better. Then one night, the electricity went out. Nina watched as scary shadows crept across her walls. Every noise sounded like the whispering monsters. Mom? Dad? They must be fast asleep. Nina went back to her room. Through her window, Nina saw a soft yellow glow. The yard was full of tiny dancing points of light. Fireflies! Nina ran outside. The fireflies whirled and flashed as Nina lifted her jar. Come on, little guy, come with me. Back at her room, the little firefly's light scared away the shadows. The only sound was the gentle night breeze, but there was still one problem. Nina wasn't sleepy anymore. What could she do? Under the bed covers, Nina read her book by the firefly's golden light. She read aloud so he could hear, and she pointed to the most exciting pictures. But when Nina finished the story, she still wasn't tired. She had another idea. Nina gathered her dolls together and put out her tea set. More tea, firefly, she asked. The firefly's light slowly flicked on and off. She guessed that meant no. Want to make shadow puppets, Firefly, she asked. Nina held her hands up into his light. First she made a rabbit, then a duck, and a dinosaur. But the Firefly blinked slower and slower, and the shadow animals grew dimmer. Nina was about to play dress up when she noticed how dark it was getting. Peering into his jar, she saw the Firefly lying at the bottom, his light had become very faint. Firefly, is your electricity low? What do you need? Nina tried everything she could of to make his light stronger. A battery, a wind-up key, her favorite chocolate bar, but nothing worked. Suddenly, Nina knew what to do. What do you guys think she's going to do? Under the tree, a sparkle of fireflies blinked and swirled as she turned the lid. Her little firefly slowly rose up and out of the jar. As he flew higher and higher, his light became brighter and brighter. Back in bed, Nina gazed at the soft light glowing through her window. Good night, firefly, she whispered. Good night, Nina. And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the Firefly story today. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of our next lesson. Thank you so much.